it alternates between three perspectives. So it's either Nova um, in her world, which is, of course, both the real world, so her needing to finish, um, complete her school year before going on to start university. <coughs> um, so it's her, either her real world or her playing the game Solarversia, or it's our team at Spiral Works and he and the company dealing with these various attacks throughout the year, or it's from the perspective of a guy called Casey Brown, who's just been recruited into the Holy Order, this terrorist organisation. we actually see him so the first scene we see him in is his initiation ceremony which is this kind of hazing ceremony where um, he has to climb this hill 144 times dragging this sack of rocks up and down um, That's his initiation ceremony, and then we see his induction um, into this organisation. Um, they're actually based in a compound, which is based in um, the, the middle of the Mississippi Delta in an old narco submarine. Have you ever heard of a narco submarine? No. Okay, so I needed the these bad guys to be located somewhere, and at first they were just um, located in the middle of a forest. Um, it, so in the middle of a, a kind of forest somewhere in the US, and I in, envisioned their compounds being um, kind of half underground, half overground, and so I called it the sub, as in submarine, because it was kind of partly submerged in the ground. And then I um, read one of the books I'm writing, and I can't remember what it is, and it was actually talking about <coughs> um, making things as interesting as possible for readers. And it actually gave a very similar example of a setting somewhere and how someone had taken the decision not just to base something in a in a woods like I had done but I think I think the example they gave was that they had changed it so that it was based in a, a cemetery and went on to discuss how that was so much better than just kind of basing it in you know a fairly generic um, forest and so I'm thinking wow that's exactly what I've done. I've just kind of got them in a forest. And even though the building is slightly um, submerged, it's not really that interesting. Like, what can I do here? And I suddenly realised, I suddenly remembered um, <clears throat> a news article that I had read a few years ago, which was about these drug smugglers in, um, it was either the US or somewhere in Latin America. They had found this submarine um, kind of, this deserted submarine in this river somewhere that these um, drug smugglers had been using, um, well, to, to smuggle drugs, obviously, but they had built this submarine that was going up and down this river. And I suddenly thought, wouldn't that just be way cooler if part of the baddies' base was actually one of these deserted narco submarines? Yeah, and, and I was just looking at a picture of it. It's Oh, you found one? Yeah, I found it. It's all in camouflage, blue, fatigue colours. Cool. So, yeah, maybe we can include um, a couple of links um, for 
people yeah so suddenly um and you know now that's a really kind of integral part of that particular perspective so the entire compound is now based in the middle of the mississippi delta and the main part of their base is this deserted submarine actually when i I want to finish up with Artie and before i go into casey so is already in the background or does he like team up with nova and they go and try to solve the problem of this story i wouldn't say that he teams up with nova as such so you know he he's the ceo and co-founder of spiral work so we see him with his various colleagues um trying to face the these challenges that are being posed to them Many of you have asked me to take a look at the movie Knowing. And of course, I did see this movie many years ago before my awakening. But now, taking a second look at it, there are some very cryptic undertones in this movie. Now, this movie is all about knowing the future. It's all about numbers. And Nicolas Cage finds a set of numbers inside a time capsule. And in those numbers are predicted all of the major world sacrifices for the past 50 years. It is knowledge that he cannot ignore. Finally, in the end, um, he foreshadows the last days and the end of the world. Now, if you look on this clock, it does strike at 329 before they talk about a heat wave that is coming upon the earth. And of course... Many of you know that my birthday is 329, the 88th day of the year, which may be why I've been given eyes to see these things. They actually show a prominent date of 1988 of a jumbo crash is flashed on on the screen. I want you to look at this next part where they actually show the eight as they walk out into the parking structure. 